Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. I am so ecstatic to do a random love reading for June 10th. Um, I want to do a Celtic spread, so I just felt led to do a Celtic spread. So this is going to be for all signs, all 12 zodiac signs. It's not um, geared towards any certain sign is just going to be for everybody out here who clicks on this video and feels led to watch the entire video okay all righty so the three of swords passed my eye the two of cups passed my eye a lot so okay so this is the card for everybody out here who is feeling like they have just passed or are currently in a tower moment okay ace of cups is gonna cross distant past is queen of pentacles they're telling me the queen of pentacles is a crowning energy okay so i'll move that card up all right nice big shuffle so this is gonna be a random love reading for the Ju for june 10th okay almost a june 11th here hmm so for those that watch this video on the 11th of June, this also could resonate with you or be for you. Like I say, with these random readings, they really could be for any time period, any day. They're just random. And I feel if it resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? Okay, the Six of Cups wants to be upright, not reversed. Okay. King of Cups is in your immediate future. So this is going to freak somebody out. Um, I do see someone coming back here out of nowhere. There is going to be a water sign X who comes back out of nowhere. And the cards are, wow. Okay. The cards are not telling me yet why they are going to come back, but they are. I feel it strongly. I feel it like right here, right here. Six of Cups. Okay, so there is my confirmation card right there to what I was feeling for you guys, for anybody watching this video. The Six of Cups is all about the past. The Six of Cups is all about nostalgia. The Six of Cups is all about memories that are resurfacing up in somebody's mind. Um, I can even go as far as saying in somebody's aura. Somebody is reminiscing over somebody. Somebody wants somebody back. This could be you. This could be you. But I'm hearing loud and clear, I want another shot. I want another chance. So you definitely could be the person who's watching this video right now and saying to yourself, oh my God, I just want to be with this person one more time. Okay, in any way that means it could be to have a conversation. It means to be in bed together. It could be to go on a trip together to experience something again. Um, you know, yeah, there, there, there's the three cards right there. Eight of Pentacles, Princess of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the 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 Strength card, Leo. So this definitely could be with a Leo. This definitely could be with a Scorpio. This definitely could be with an Aries. This definitely could be with a fellow Capricorn female. Um, I'm feeling Gemini as well for both genders and all sexualities, actually. For Gemini, especially Gemini, this could be um, anything, anything. So I do feel this here, okay? So somebody wants another chance. Now... These two cards are so different that it, it almost makes you want to chuckle because the tower card is about, you know, it normally, it normally, okay, it normally is about something very scary happening, okay? Like an abrupt disappointment, an abrupt breakup, divorce, whatever you want to call it. But whatever the tower symbolizes here in this reading is about something that was fractured out of nowhere. And this person didn't know what they were feeling. This person or people, two people, didn't know what they were feeling at the time. But what I'm picking up here is that there's somebody who's going to wake up out of a slumber. There's somebody here. This could happen today. This could happen tomorrow. This could happen any day. But I'm picking up extremely today and tomorrow. This definitely could be somebody who wakes up and smells the coffee. And this could be you once again. 
and somebody is going to realize how special somebody is to somebody else. And I do see that somebody here recently, um, the words I'm getting here is they took their power back. Somebody here, okay, could be a Capricorn, female or male, whatever sexuality, whatever title you want to call yourself, whatever you prescribe onto yourself, right? Whatever it could be, because this is LGBTQ month, so I have to be, you know, aware of that. And I do feel that with this devil card here, there's this is this is definitely somebody okay this is not an energy just floating around out here this devil card is somebody who took their power back and moved the hell along and now in the two most recent cards the energy that's going to be presenting itself is somebody is going to come back so this definitely could be a capricorn and scorpio dynamic here um they're also telling me scorpio 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 cancer I don't know why that's coming up, but that's what's coming up here. So if, if you feel this is for you and you got a chill on your back, hey, it could happen. It could happen. And what I'm getting in this random reading is that whoever this person is over here, they want to come back into this person's life over here and they want to offer something and i do feel that whatever they offer is not going to be small it's not going to be like hey do you want to go out for ice cream hey do you want to go out for coffee no this person could literally come back in i'm picking up aries leo this could be aries leo relationship whoever is a male whoever is a female whatever aries leo okay one person's aries one person's leo and i'm picking up strongly this person could literally come back and be like no 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 you're you're mine we're getting married i want to have kids with you this could be somebody coming in like bam the tower like i want you you're mine let's go and this person over here could be like no no like wants to run away like i can't do this this is crazy like it may actually scare this person over here that there's a new opportunity on the table with this old person, with this old flame. I'm hearing this old flame could even be soulmate, this old flame, this old soulmate. But the word flame is what I want to say. And there is literally flames coming out of the tower, like sparks of fire. So it could be with a fire sign. Once again, Aries Leo, two fire signs that were twin flames or some, something like that. OK, I don't want to use that term loosely. I don't. But it is definitely somebody who you were like, you were with, and then something separated you guys. And now I see this water sign, whoever represents this water sign, King of Cups here, regardless of gender, I do feel is trying to make their way back in, like slowly but surely. And it's almost like I see a, a visual of a crocodile underwater that's just gliding. And as soon as they get the right opportunity, they want to catch you so i definitely do feel spying energy here i definitely feel that somebody from your past is spying on you heavily and is what is waiting and wanting to talk to you is waiting and waiting and waiting for the right moment to catch you so what spirits want so what spirit wants me to say here is that if you've been feeling if you've been feeling watched, if you've been feeling like somebody is on your radar and you don't know who it is, spirit's telling me it's your ex from the past. Six of Cups, King of Cups. Spirits tell me loud and clear, this is somebody who was in your past and now wants to come back. And I do feel that for a lot of you guys, you don't want this person back or you never thought that you would want this person back. You you were practical about it. Queen of, see Queen of Pentacles coming into play here. Definitely could be reading for an earth sign female, I feel here. You, you were saying to yourself, I don't want this cancer back. I don't want this person back. I don't want drama with this person. I don't want this person, period. But there's somebody that's going to come into your life in June and it's going to knock your socks off. So this card also backs up what I just said, eight of pentacles. Okay. The card of research, the card of processing things long term. So this is definitely energy of somebody who has got their eye 
um, being in a relationship long term. So Spirit's also telling me if there's somebody who came in, came out of your life or came in and now they left, like something like that where they weren't really sure, I feel that now they're going to want to commit. I feel like now they're going to want to be with you. But the trick here is that a lot of you guys in the distant past judgment in reverse could have honestly just let this person go and said, you know what? I'm never going to know how this person feels about me. I'm never going to be with this person again. It's okay. I'm going to go over here and be the devil card. I'm going to go over here and live out every single fantasy I've ever wanted to have. And then as soon as you do that, somebody else comes back in your life. The energy is exciting. The energy is hopeful. The energy is full of opportunity. But I do see that this could really be... Um, a situation in which somebody could turn somebody down, I feel as well, because this person is not entrusted in commitment like they were. And now they're not going to be because they're doing them. They're living their life. So that's pretty funny. I feel that, you know, you know, so yeah, six of cups, the devil card. So this is definitely, you know, showing energy here of somebody who is out here doing what they want to do. And I feel for some reason strongly that the second this person sees that you gave up, that you don't want them, they're, they're, they're here to make an appearance, right? They're here to say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to lock this person down once and for all. And the bottom of the deck, okay, is a temperance card, a bright, which is balance, so I feel that if this if this if you're the person I'm reading for that wants to get someone back, regardless of sign that, you, that the sign that you are, they are what spirits also showing me is that you need to go about it with balance. OK, you can't just go to this person like out of nowhere and just drop it on them, because I do feel that if you do that, it's only going to bring the tower and it may not go the way that you thought it would go. OK, so if this is like a boyfriend girlfriend dynamic where you just broke up, but you want but you're the guy and you want your girl back, you want her back. What the cards are saying here is that you got to do it with a steady approach, with a steady hand. So maybe you need to not just say and go for the kill, like let's move in. Maybe you need to go to her and offer just stability, okay? That is actually what I feel it's actually saying is that if you go back to this person, you need to just go You need to just go ahead and offer stability first. First and foremost, you need to offer trust. You need to offer stability. You need to offer love. You need to offer the base, which is I trust you, I love you, period. That's what needs to happen here. So I feel that the cards are saying here, don't just go off of emotion, hot emotion, the devil card, right? Don't just go out. Don't just go into it saying, here I am, take, take me back and, 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 and try to yell out your case and, and, and annoy the person. It's saying, go with a soft hand, go back to them with a soft hand, a soft cup and say, you know what? I fancy you. You know, and that may get them back. But I do see that there could be a couple of you guys that if you don't use that approach or you have just done that and you've messed up, it feels that this person could be like, no, nope, no, thank you. I'm fine. You know, so it could go either way. But I, I hope that for a majority of you guys, if, if you know, if there's still a connection there and it's meant to be, I hope that you take this advice from this random reading and I hope that you actually go in with it, you know, in a smart way. OK, don't go about it in a, in a brash way where the person, you know, is not going to like it. Right. Excuse me. <coughs> going to sneeze here. Excuse me. So go about it with a steady hand. OK. Is that all I have for them? That's all I got. OK, so best of luck. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.